What to do, Ryan Crew? Welcome to Nick Rants. Hey, hey. Welcome the newest one of the family, Stella, Stella El Ola. Clap, 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 say es chico chico. Ah. All right, guys, if you guys want to know what to do right after a perm, stay along. All right, I'm guessing that you guys just came out of your perm and that's why you landed on my video today. I'm going to tell you guys the hottest tips and the best tips. You guys just came back from your perm. They put in the two products where they had to, you know, tie your hair up, put the shushi stuff on it, and then... Blah, 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 all that stuff. They did all that stuff. It stinks. I know it stinks. It's gonna stink. It's gonna remain stinking for probably two days until you can shower again. But don't worry too much. Because remember, you can only smell it if you come straight up to it. We can smell it because we're right here. Our nose is right here. Our hair is right here. Nobody's coming up to you going like, <laughs> sniffing up your hair, man. Like, promise. Nobody's doing that. So, like, you don't gotta worry about the smell. It'll go away. Number two, make sure you wait 48 hours to shower. If you guys ended up showering, it's not the end of the world. It's not gonna be the worst. But... If you guys did do shampoo and conditioner, it's going to affect your perm. It's going to make it look a little wonky, but it's, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But if you showered and you just showered with water, it's really pretty much not going to do anything. And yeah, so the reason why you can't shower and all that stuff is because right now in your first two days, your hair is still settling, your curls are still settling. So you want to settle it and you want it to be as tight as possible when you settle. But yeah, so the only really damage you can get from chest water is if it weighs down and it weighs down the curl and it loosens out, but it will not loosen crazy. But if you guys did use shampoo or conditioner, that's not gonna be the greatest. Don't use it for the first 48 hours. I wish you found the video sooner if you already did. This damn cat's forever going on the wires and shit, bro. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Stay out of the wires. You wanna lie? You wanna die? You wanna die? But yeah, that's basically what you're gonna do. Wait the first 48 hours before you're doing anything. And I'm gonna recommend one thing, a bonnet. The bonnet will help your hair stay curly while you're sleeping. Cause what happens when you sleep is your hair gets caught between your head and your pillow. So when it's caught between your head and your pillow, it looks like it's flattened out. And since you can't shower the first 48 hours, you're gonna wanna be able to avoid that as much as you can. Cause you just can't shower and get rid of it. Normally, if your perm's like that, as soon as you go shower, it'll all reset and it'll go back to how it was. Which leads me to my next thing. The next two days, your hair is not going to look that good. It's not going to look as amazing as you want. It's not going to be as defined. It's not going to have a lot of curls. But it's all going to change once you shower up the first 40 hours. So if you're stressing right now and you're worried and you think you messed up your perm somehow, you didn't. Trust me, you just need water and moisture in two days. And things you want to avoid are you want to avoid hats and anything that will lower your curls. You want to basically... You want to avoid anything that will touch your curls or do anything to your curls. You want to kind of keep your curls as non-touchable and non-nothing as possible. Like, you want to just leave it as much as nothing as possible. You want to leave it alone, right? Because your curls are going to look the best the second you're out of that perm place. As soon as you're out of the hair salon, that's when your curls look the best. And that's how you want them to be. So you want to try to maintain that as much as you can. But that's pretty much the first two days. Do not shower. Do not use products. Wear a bonnet. And you guys would be good. And remember, your hair's not terrible. It doesn't look terrible right now. It's going to help. So I'll see you guys again in two days where I give you the best tips. If you guys are wondering what color rods I used, I used pink and blue alternating. That's what I think is the best bet to go with and the best one to go. Because the problem is, is if you go all blue, your hair's going to be too frizzy and too hard to maintain. And if you go pink is good too, but pink in my opinion isn't tight enough for me. If you look at my past three videos, that's what my hair looked like with pink rods. And I didn't like it as much, so I went back to the alternating pink and blue. That That's what I recommend, and that's what I think is the best bet. And that's how you get your hair, like how I used to have it back in my oldest videos, and how I have it now. And if you're wondering how you get spiral curls, I have videos on that. But simple as it, you gotta get it short like this, and you gotta wait for it to grow out. And when it grows out, it's gonna grow out into spirals. And if you guys wanna know what a bonnet is, or what it looks like, and where to get it, look like this. Nothing special, just something that goes over your head. Kinda looks like a showering cap and you good and if you guys are wondering what these are really good for it's really good if you're not showering the next day because when you're not showering the next day you can't reset your curls and you can't have it going like how you want it so this helps shape it and keep it defined for the next day I know I'm talking and making it seem like there's so much to it and that so you can't do this you can't do that you can't do this everything I'm saying that you can't do if you did it it's not gonna be the end of the world but what I'm telling you right now is how you're gonna get the best results and how you're gonna have your curls looking the best Bro, my cat's fucking next shit. Up. So, boom, boom, bam. As you guys can see, hair's a lot curlier. Finally got out the water. I'm gonna tell you guys about the products. 
So number one, if you follow my channel, you know about this product, Mark Anthony Instantly Thick Shampoo and Conditioner. It'll be on the screen. It's beautiful. This works magic. Basically, you will feel it. You'll feel the difference. All the frizz will basically be gone. It'll feel way more full. If I recommend one product fully, it's that one. Next one is, I think it's like Old Bets or some shit, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on the screen. It's a pink container, beautiful conditioner and shampoo. This is what I've been using more recently. It's actually what I use today because sometimes I have a hard time finding the Instantly Thick because I think they're really popular, but this is usually my backup and it works out very well. Just as good, maybe even better for some of you. Go for it. All right, and when you shower, you wanna make sure you scrunch with your hair. When you have the shampoo in, like this. You basically just scrunch and you scrunch it so that it curls, right? Because you're scrunching and your hair is scrunching with it. Then when you put the conditioner in, you want to more go like this. You want to put your hands like this and go in circular motions. This is a good way when you have conditioner in because you're not really cleaning, you're more moisturizing and you want it to go on. A very big deal, a very big thing to do is I want you to rinse your hair with cold water, not shampoo. When you have your shampoo and you can do that with hot water, it doesn't matter. It's just when you're leaving and you're washing out the conditioner, do it with cold water. What that does is it locks down the moisture and it'll leave you with less frizz and stronger curls. You're gonna have to get used to it though because you're gonna hate like being cold when you leave the shower and stuff, but you get used to it and it's great. And then when you go out, this is optional, but I think it makes a big difference too, is you want to dry your hair with a t-shirt. This is what I did with this t-shirt, any kind of t-shirt like this, just a, just a normal cotton t-shirt, and you want to scrunch on your hair to dry it. Because what happens with towels is since they're so absorbent, they could absorb too much water, and with your hair, curls, and specifically perms, is you need moisture. It needs extra moisture than straight hair. So when our hair is straight, we have straight hair, but we curl it, now it's gonna be extra, extra frizzy. So we need to make sure we take extra measures to make sure that we handle the. So now with the products and the creams, anything's really good that has coconut cream in it. So Cantu avocado coconut cream, great, works. I've been using it lately, but I do have better. Shea Moisture and Mark Anthony coconut cream is way better in my opinion. Shea Moisture um, coconut smoothie, very good. I'd recommend getting that too. Just any cream, don't stress too much on the cream. Most creams do the same. But when you do put the creams, you wanna pop about that much because our hair's short. Move it up in your hair. And then you wanna start from the back. And you wanna go through your hair. You wanna scrunch it, go through it. And you won't realize the cream difference when your hair is wet, but where you will realize it is when your hair dries. Your hair is gonna dry a lot more full and a lot more moisturized and it's gonna look a lot better than if you didn't do anything, it'd probably be very frizzy. And then from there, we're gonna use Strictly Curls, Mark Anthony. I've told this recently, it's actually been a very good spray. For some reason, it makes my hair look more coily and better. So I can't give you really fully tips on this and how to use it, but how I've been using it lately works. So you just spray it around and you use it as an extra product. And that's how you style it. Now you're just gonna patiently wait for it to dry. And then we're gonna go over the Afro comb technique which is optional, but I love it. And a lot of people were trying to say that my curls got looser because I used the Afro comb technique. That is not right at all. If you guys look at my oldest videos, my hair recoils, that's because I used the Afro comb technique. The reason why my hair was less curly last time is because I tried a new, uh, I tried a new rod and it was the pink rods and they weren't as tight, they were looser. And to be honest, I didn't like them. And so, like I said, go with pink and blue if you guys want it coily and fucking spirally and stuff, go with the blue and pink. If you guys want looser kind of out curls, go pink. And if you guys want really frizzy, really tight, really frizzy, go blue. Don't recommend it though. So much work. All right, now this is what it looks like when it's finished. I'm gonna show you guys something called the Afro comb technique. What the Afro comb technique does is it kind of stretches out your curls and it poofs them out more so that it's more Afro. This part's optional. And when you first have your perm like this, you don't want to go crazy on it. You don't want to be fucking yapping up your fucking head. So basically what you're doing is you're putting this through your hair, but you're not going all the way through the curl, you're going about halfway through the curl so it puffs out. And you kind of like poke at it. I know you guys think this might loosen your curls, but it doesn't because once your hair hits water, it resets. 
So the only way your curls get looser is when your hair grows back. Because when your hair grows back, your hair grows back straight. It doesn't grow back curly. So that's why you have to get reperms every so often. But there you go, this way your hair is like after after comb technique. Again, you're not gonna see much big of a difference if you're right after your perm. It's just gonna look a little bit more puffy and a little bit better. But watch, in about two weeks, three weeks, a month, even maybe even longer, that's when you're gonna really start seeing the difference with afro comb technique. And I have a whole video on that if you wanna check it out. So the giveaway co money's coming when I make my first $100 on YouTube because that's when I could take them, that's when I could withdraw from YouTube. So last month I made about like $57. So as long as by the seventh or eighth, I make like $47, I'll be good and the giveaway will happen around this month. <laughs> I'll let you guys know that, but it's whenever I could withdraw the money and do it. But if I don't make the money threshold, the hundred dollars this month, I gotta wait till next month. So that's giveaway information. If you guys like it, please watch and keep watching the ads and love the ads. Don't skip the ads if you guys wanna help me out. And uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please subscribe. Go through the journey. I'm gonna show you guys everything. So this may be my last perm. I might go back to straight hair just cause I've had it for a while and I think it might be time that I go back, but I wanna, I want one last try with my beautiful tight curls and I want to make them coils and I want to do the whole journey. So stick with me for the next six to seven months, seven months, and I'll show you guys the whole perm transformation and how to do it. And if you find this seven months later, you already got the whole set ready. So subscribe, like, enjoy. Peace out.